done a lot to make the track uh, safer than it was in the 50s and early 60s. We saw all that sweeping going on. That, of course, was right where that Riley and Scott, when it re-entered the track, was driving off. And it undoubtedly, uh, we could see as it left, a lot of debris being dumped down, so they're cleaning that up. And uh, you could see this shot. We saw it earlier in the day, and it was a bit brighter. Here's uh, a car the sun going... is dropping a little bit. Yeah, but here's a car going 200 miles an hour. You know, it's worth looking at the trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah and the guardrail. That number five car, because it's been our camera car, remember it ran very strongly early on, but it's dropped back to 16th place, and uh, maybe we can find out uh, why it's off the pace now. Obviously, it's just been caught at the moment, but uh, they had a good run going early on. It was definitely the best Ferrari, but uh, now it's dropped down, as I said, to 16th position. The uh, leading, uh, leading Toyota now is some 38 seconds ahead of the two Porsches, the 25 and 26 cars. They're running pretty close together. One of the more amazing shots from that onboard facing backward was going by those workers right at the edge of the track at a fairly good clip. Take a look at our current top 10 right now, and of course it remains that 29 Toyota uh, who they seem to have found a pace that is salvaging everything on that car and keeping it alive, doing a great job with it. Then the two factory GT1 Porsches running second and third. Then two of the Nissans running fourth and fifth, a great effort. Then the Yost run factory LMP Porsche running in sixth then the number 13 courage again a great show and after those pit stops by the way they are separated by a scant six seconds again in that battle for six uh eighth spot is another of the yost run porsches ninth and tenth number 32 and 33 respectively two of the nissans yeah just check out the situation in gt2 it is actually very exciting down there we've got uh, the two remaining vipers they are currently first and second but there's two porsches chasing them hard and all four of those cars are on the same lap Great action, no question. And don't forget, speaking of great action, immediately following this segment of our Le Mans coverage, we'll send you directly to Derek Daly and David Hobbs for exclusive live qualifying coverage for the Grand Prix of Canada. Can Jacques Villeneuve stop the favored McLarens from winning their seventh pole of the season? Find out today at 1 p.m. Eastern, only on Speed Vision. That Ferrari that we've been enjoying the shots on, having himself, as we've been talking about, a fairly good run after pit stops have slipped to 15th, and right now running right in front of the number three Momo Ferrari, so the two Ferraris having a bit of their own battle on track, not, the, not necessarily for position, but they found each other and are racing hard. Now, keep in mind, we've had a lot of action leading.